and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you out to the shed of many names on this late evening. And I've noticed that some of my honey tangerine seeds have started to sprout. So it's time to get these babies in the ground. I have my trays filled with very fertile, good soil. I've already moistened it very well, so I won't disturb the little baby seedlings. And as I warned everybody, you have to watch out, because not every seed will sprout, and there's some that's already starting to mold. So I want to get these good ones out before mold touches them. And as you can see, I started them on 12-23, and it's been, it's right at a week, and I've got baby little seedlings. And like I said, not all of them will make it, but I'm giving it the college try. A bunch of them have started to sprout. Little baby nubs coming out. So, and there's a one that's got a really good root coming out there. So, I want my holes an inch deep. And try your best to get them in the center. Of each cell. I'm going to do eight, two, four, six, yeah, eight for now. And I mark mine. I usually use two picks to mark where I planted seeds. Well, this time I got to be a little ingenious. It's uh, cotton swabs this time because I won't miss those. Okay, let's see. Let's start with this little one. And let me show you. Let's see if it'll zip. See the little root coming out. I got a little baby coming. You want to be really gentle with it. Make sure it goes all the way down because you don't want any air pockets. That shows me that, now you can cut the Q-tip tips off if you want to and just use the little straw pieces. But that marks that I put a seed in there. That one's ready to go. And I try to make sure that I put root down, tamp it in real good, mark the cell. Let's see, who's next? And you can see just the beginning of a little root coming out. you tamp it in there real good and hopefully these will continue to root like I said this is easy to do you just have to be patient and also realize these might not continue to grow they may you never know but you know what it's always worth a try always worth a try <coughs> Not yet. <coughs> Excuse me. It's going in and out 
it's cooling off a little bit outside and I went into family's hot house and it always makes me cough. I do not have cooties. I am still cootie free and plan to keep it that way. into the hole, cover it up real well, and mark it. And that way, because it can take a couple of weeks, it can take a week, it can take a month till these spring out of the ground. But you gotta be patient, and above all else, make sure that your soil does not dry out. Now don't keep it just soggy, because the seeds will rot. But keep it just moist enough so that and water from the bottom. And then that way your seeds continue to germinate, grow into beautiful, and in this case, beautiful honey tangerines. I'm actually surprised that they started germinating this fast. Now, not all of them have germinated, but that's fine. There's another little healthy one. And I'm just going to be happy as can be if they all continue to grow. Like I said, there's no guarantee, but it's better than not trying. Oh, need a little more time. I'm going to get rid of. Get rid of the ones that have mold on them. Right, I've already looked at that one. And of course, <coughs> I will change out the paper towels because I don't want, because this mold will continue to grow. And I want to try to continue to germinate as many of these babies as I can. Oh, there's a nice little root coming out. Like I said, always make sure you mark where you planted your seed. I'm going to wait on that one just a little bit longer. No, not ready. gonna go and plant that baby okay let's see You want to be as general as you can with them because at this po point in time they're very fragile that one has a little too much mold on it ok 
keep that one. That one's done shriveled up. That one's got too much mold on it. going on with this one. I'll keep that one. That one's got a lot of mold. That one's got a lot of mold. That one's got a little too much mold. So does that one. No, wait a minute. That one's trying to sprout. I'm gonna plant it anyway and give her give it a try. Alright, little one. Grow for me. And like I said, there's no guarantee even though they're rooting. There's still no guarantee, but like I said, it's worth it. Free citrus trees. It's worth it. You can do this with lemons, oranges, kumquats, you name it. Fruit trees. Any fruit, citrus seeds. Uh oh. I'm going to go and plant this one. That root's starting to come out. Like I said, you got to make sure that there's no air pockets because that will just kill your chances of any further germination. All right, these little babies need just a little bit more time. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some paper towels wet, and I'll see you here in just a little bit. Well, okay, I am back with my fresh paper towels. Make sure you use warm water. You're going to want to put these little babies back in here. And hopefully they will continue to sprout for me. Because I'm hoping these are going to continue to sprout and grow for me. You want to fold them over, make sure they get good contact with the moist paper towel, make sure you didn't leave, oh, there's one, all right, come on little guy, make sure they have good contact because you don't want them drying out, and I fold mine over. Make sure there's no air pockets or anything. Discard this moldy one. Which can also go in your compost pile. And in a couple more days, I will check them again. Because these are not far from germinating. the air out, seal it up, and hang it back up, and I'm going to hang it up on a nail using a, using a little clamp to hold it up there. Now I have potential for two, four, six, eight, ten little bitty honey tangerine trees to come up, and they should. I had no trouble with the ones I grew a while back now it was several years ago since I was able to do it and unfortunately I got sick had to go into the hospital and well there was nobody to water them so they died on me so here we go again and of course they were only like 
this tall. They were little babies, but they sure were beautiful, and they were mine. So, we shall see how these turn out. And, of course, once they start peeping out of the ground, I will bring you back. Simple, easy, anybody can do this. You just have to believe in yourself. It's not hard to grow. You can do it. Just believe in yourself. Now, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section below. I will answer them as soon as possible. Everyone, take care. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And may you each be blessed. See you soon.